getting ready to do a show where it's just me solo um, on stage and no fun effects or lights or anything. It's interesting, I, I have to dig into my catalog, which at this point is fairly extensive. I have to make sure that I'm challenging myself enough to not just play the same 90 minute set that I know very well to try to either remember something old and work on that or to present something new. Because I think that I am truly doing the hardest thing and the best thing when I'm alone on stage with you know, with nothing else. I've done a lot of different shows with multimedia, but when it's just me and the guitar, that is the truest and best version of my playing. You know, I often don't know what kind of audience I'm going to walk out into, or what mood they're in, or what their expectation is. So I have to be very neutral, kind of reading the tone. I don't want to start off with like a lot of, some sort of aggressive, funny joke that falls flat. I just have to be really open and receptive, um, which is not always the simplest thing. I like to warm up, I like to play a little bit, I like to make sure that between the guitars, um, my fingernails, everything's exactly where I like it. And you know, I just, I have a sort of routine, a little ritual, like, there's only a few things I keep on stage, you know, a couple backup strings, a couple of little odds and ends that just need to be in a certain place, and I like them to be there, and then I kind of chill out after doors open and I don't really worry too much about it. You never want to fight your gear, whatever it is. You never want to worry if it's gonna fail. Let's say, for instance, I was somewhere and someone said, hey, you know, can you come in? And I'm like, well, I didn't bring my guitar. I didn't bring my string, I, didn't, I don't have any gear. And they're like, well, we're gonna have your signature guitar with Elixir light strings, Polyweb, with a 13 and a 17, the exact way that I do it. Then I would have a thousand percent more confidence in my ability to show up and do whatever it is that they need me to do. All of your gear, your strings, your cables, your pedals, all of it, it should just be reliable. As you grow as someone, as a player, as a performer, as whatever it is that's interesting to you, knowing who you are through your setup is totally relevant, it's super important. At the end of the day, the guitar just tells, it, it's not like it tells me what to do. It does not sit there and have a face on it and speaks to me. It just, these ideas don't seem to come exactly from, you know, here. They're sort of coming from this collaboration that I've had. But again, I've been playing the guitar for 35 years. So it's like having a twin or a 35 year marriage where they're just, you know, that's a long time. So as far as like where I am now and what I want to do and where I want to go, is it totally up to me? I think so, but honestly, sometimes the guitar is like, no baby, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go over to this strange and uncharted territory. 